let's go ahead and uh, listen to this contractor. There's a YouTube channel, 423,000 subscribers giving crazy advice, all right? So, so I, I don't care, you know, these people will never be my friend. I don't need a network with them. So, crazy advice. Let's go ahead and uh, let's listen to him. Uh, I'm going to fast forward a bit because i got to narrate. Your form up. So he's forming up the, uh, let me turn it down a bit. So he's forming up the, uh, the steps. But I like to put a few nails through it. And let me fast forward here a bit right here. Oh, I guess I went too fast. Let me pause and get it right. Okay, this is where we'll pick up where he's talking about tamping here. Doing a good job of tamping as far as small lifts and using water. So this, this will get a, give him a okay, an okay on. But then wait to the advice. Yeah. So the guy's stamping, walking, tamping. So now they're putting the road base in here. And you see them. Uh, they're just going to hand stamp it, stomp it in there. Okay. A little water. And see, that's what's important. You know, so I'll give them his, you know, correct on the water. And it helps with the consolidation. Right, but she, here we go. The, Another uh, thing that works good to fill listen. in big voids. This this one's really not a big enough void. Listen. But you can take straw, bales of straw, and just throw them in there and pour right over it. He just said you can use bales of straw to fill the voids and then pour right over top of bales of straws, guys. That's an organic material. Do not do that. There is no circumstances besides you just throwing away the driveway or whatever you're doing where you're going to be using bales of straw under there. Um, bales of straw. Uh, I'm going to back it up and let you hear it again. Now, it would just settle down. It would just drop down as the, as the, as the, as the bales of straw biodegrade. This is, this is, uh, that's, that's one of the most craziest advices, advice, advices, advice, advice I've ever heard a concrete contractor give. That, it, that beats it. I've never heard that. Let's get some straw, throw it down there for fill, and then, um, and then pour concrete on top. I've never heard that before. And this guy is Odell Complete Concrete. I will say his name on this one. Because it's, it's, it's at the, uh, you know, I don't want everybody to get a bad name. It's, I've never heard other contractors state this. Let's hear it again. So now they're putting the road base in here. Right. Stamping. They're tamping, just going to hand says. stamp it, stomp it in and, there. And using the water, like I said, which is good. And pound it down. So I have to let it, for, never, for uh, fair use, I have to let them, you know, also be fair. Let them hear the words before so nobody thinks I'm pulling a fast one. Another thing that works good to fill in big voids, this, this one's really not a big enough void, but you can take straw, bales of straw, and just throw them in there and pour right over it all the way around. You've got to totally encase it. Like You've got to have at least six inches of concrete around the edges of it. You know, and that works good too. Here's a plate. So, you just heard it. Bales of straw as your support for concrete. You, you can't get there from here. All right? You can't get there from here. This guy's channel has got, he's got now has 423,000 subscribers following his advice. Now, it's interesting. I've done, since he started his channel way down there at 10,000, it came up on my, on my view, I've done about five or six reaction videos just beating them up. I posted zero of them. One after another, I keep finding, you know, his defects. One after another. And I'm like, ah, you know, and I never posted the video. I just never, never, never did. I, maybe I'll get around to posting it now. But the, but now this one is just, the, this, this is just, this just pulled my last straw, right? It's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's figuratively, because he's talking about straws, but now we're talking about literally in conversation here. This is just crazy. Now let's see if the comments, let, let's see if the commenters um, call him out on the straw. Let me pause it and take a view of the things here. 
Oh, well, I unpaused it already. Because somebody already called them on it. Wait. Bales of straw to fill a large void? And when the straw breaks down, what happens then? Oh, we've, I've got to see the comments. Um, uh, he says, let's see, is that him? No. If it gets wet, it certainly will. Okay. Whatever. Um, this person says that, I'm trying to see his reply. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people calling him out on it. Yeah, somebody said they've been in facets of, you know, facets of concrete, never heard straw in 30 years. Yeah, it, this is what's triggering me too, guys, to do this video. Um, it's never, late, never too late to reinforce the bicycle, to reinvent the bicycle. A smile brings forth energy of life, giving you, what the hell? You're kidding me. Straw to fill a void of concrete? Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, yeah, this guy's a narcissist. He has not real. He's not replying, and uh, apparently not replying. And it was thirty reply. Yeah, that's it. Jesus was a carpenter. Wrong subject here, buddy. I didn't critique. I was using uh, whatever. Um, wait a minute. Somebody said something down there. It. Uh, it does it get it does. let's see if we can see if uh he's got something under more um like he's gonna reveal it was a joke in this video we will be showing you the intense situation we went through in this driveway pour on how we ended up fixing it he broke he broke it and then he wound up having to fix fix it it wasn't easy and was definitely a stressful situation other than that everything came out I had a friend of mine named Donnie. Donnie had a voice on her. Let me tell you guys, Donnie could sell a job. Donnie's dead now. But Donnie would say, with his voice, Yeah, that guy could sell any job. And he was just rough. But people loved him. He had the confidence to talk the trash to get the jobs. This guy talks, I mean, this is just, this is just ridiculous. Straw there? I like to see that go through any inspection anywhere in the nation. Um, as people said, 30 years, etc. I've never heard that, and this is why I'm bringing it up. And I think I will start posting in my other critique idiot videos of this guy. He's going to be a clown show. I might as well make some clown show videos. So when you concrete guys, if you're following Odell, you can you can share it. I don't care. Um, you guys can join in on the clown show uh, with the comments if you like, but that only promotes his channel. You can join in on, I don't know, but you can at least learn what not to do. Send me a message and I'll uh, I'll look at his content and, 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 and join in on the clown show. Um, he is using a tamper. That's great. I've seen that guy from uh, uh, Missouri uh, with a big uh, with the big trucks and company and everything else. I think he, they're the company's allergic to tampers. Um, see another guy out of Pennsylvania, uh, um, Hoss and them, and I wrote him. Hoss, Hoss Concrete Weather, I like their work and all, but again, allergic to tampers, um, maybe an allergy towards tampers, and the uh, the reinforcement, which I, I will, will, will get more into um, in future videos, but how the reinforcement is incorrect, placement, top and top, uh, bottom placement of rebar. I'm going to end this video, but that was definitely a clown show about putting straw as your support. Nobody, please, nobody do that. This guy's, a, it's a clown show. I'd rather see you get debris and throw debris in there, such as rocks and cinder block scraps, any of your any of your stuff like that that will that will act stable. It will be stable under uh, um, conditions. So this is about a five and a half inch slump. So how many of you how many of you think that's a five and a half inch slump? Now if it were had a plasticizer in it, water reducer, it, it would flow really nice like that. And he said, he said nothing about a plasticizer or water reducers. How many of you uh, um, installers out there think that this is a five and a half inch slump? I mean, five and a half inch slump means how wet the Look how that pushed away. See how it pushed away when you stepped on it? How many of you guys think that's a five and a half? the worst case scenario one is the stiffest Watch, it's going to be it's going to be is, you know, kind behind of here too when the guy starts dragging it watch this 
Well, not not that one. When you turn the other direction, and the way you right calculate about, your color based right about on here. Uh, Let me, uh, how many sacks of second. cement per cubic yard. Right there, here we go. Like for instance, look at that. How many guys think that's a five and a half? Look at me just ninety pounds jump off. Cement per and the guy at the back of the shovel just pushing it then with based the greatest off of ease. That when you're calculating, so how many of you think you uh, on your color chart it'll say how many you think either, that's uh, you know let me half pause that. Let me bring that down. Three pounds of color. So how many of you think that's a five and a half? <laughs> that's the that's the most wet five and a half I've seen. That's a five and a half, yeah, without super pla super plasticizer, perhaps, but uh, I call no on that. I think not, rather. Look at that! Look, it just dragged. <laughs> it just dragged. It just pulled up a, a, a whole ton of water. This guy often says he's using five and a half, and it looks like what sevens? Really? It performs like a seven, and it uh, with no super P. Like I said, not super plasticizer. But okay, there we go. Look at this thing just jumping around, looks waving, waving. It's got a wave to it. How many of you guys use five and a half and get waves out of your five and a half mud? And just flies off the ends and everything else. Come on. Looks like a seven to me. What do you guys think? And you ever try to pump a five and a half in a uh in a small hose like that? Oh my gosh. You got some you got some surging going on. Not that flow like that. Again, my save uh, Super P without Super Plasticizer. Yeah. From a pump. I own a pump, guys. I, I, I've never been able to get five and a half to do this without Super P. With the small stones. And in and, and the sand. Now, he's not calling out his... Uh, yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a five and a half. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm totally... Look at it just drop down. I'm totally not sold on that. Look, look at all that bleed water on his five and a half, guys. Amazing. He's able to get all that bleed water from a five and a half. <laughs> oh, with no, with no uh, poly underneath of it. Now, you guys believe that's a five and a half? Come on. I got some swamp land to sell you. Here, here's some more guys. I had a found another section. Look at this. Look at that mud move out of the way. And that that's a five and a half. That's a five and a half slump. Come on. Just punch me in my face, why don't you, if we're gonna just start saying stuff like this? Come on. I might have to go far saying this is a seven and a half. This thing is well maybe seven and seven ish. This thing is like, wow, it's like, it's, 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 and he's using a steel trowel on it, right? A steel trowel on top of water still. You know what that does? That creates a, a seal. It locks it in. It, uh, it locks off the cream, if you will. And then that water gets between the multiple layers and it starts causing, it can cause delamination in the future. And look at the guy to the left. Looks like he's patching uh, the sidewalk with uh, smearing on some uh, surface material. Yeah, and then gonna look at him doing it, sponging it, etc. It looks like he's onto the sidewalk now, um, trying to do some blending of some weird nature. So, again, the uh, let's go back to the uh, steel trowel and the, and the, and the uh, steel trowel on it right here. That's a lot of moisture on there to use a steel trowel on. Magnesium is still is still good to go. Uh, wood, things like that. Anything keeps the pores open. But you're already using steel is, is working towards sealing it. Not a good idea. All right. Talk to you guys. Love you. Bye.